Hello friends, I'm Colonel Fay. Welcome back to the old Satisfactory Railworks and uh, I've rebuilt my track. Mostly. I've no well no, not even mostly. I've rebuilt some of my track. Uh, but there's there's still a lot to do. Basically if you see uh, one of the old orange headers up there, it's not rebuilt. Uh, if I've painted it, then it's been rebuilt or it's Legacy's track. I know which bits I've done. It's all fine. It's a hazy old day, isn't it? Um, uh, anyway, one thing that I've introduced, which I thought you might find interesting, I don't really care if you didn't, uh, is uh, is orange ladders. Uh, because we will need access to the track from time to time, orange ladders, which are then denoted, the pillar that they're next to, denoted by a couple of little green lights. Uh, and you kind of go, oh, yeah, yeah, all right. It's not that exciting. No, I didn't say it was exciting. I just said, you know, you might be interested. And if you're not, so be it. Uh, ongoing work is ongoing. Uh, I keep coming backwards and forwards. I'm experimenting with this idea where I put a transit tube uh, underslung from the rail. Haven't, haven't settled on it yet. Uh, I mean, the main difference in the, the new rail design that we've got going on is... Loads more embellishment. It's using so many more resources than the last version. Uh, you can see it better down there. I don't know if we go down here a little bit. You can see it better on the side. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, look, it looks like there's more kind of robust support going on in there. Uh, and then the uh, the kind of the, the traversing pillar that goes across the top now looks like it's slightly better supported. Uh, on the other side, it's not supported at the moment because I haven't slung the wires yet. Um, so there's that. Right, as has become traditional for this magnificent series, uh, we will start by, by showing you what I'm working on next. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to, we need to just tootle this train around a little bit. Are you going to let me get in here, even though I've got the HUD turned, you've got the HUD turned off. All right, okay, well, get in then. Uh, I'm going to need to ease forward a smidge. And then put the train at the other end. Because this is facing the wrong way at the moment. I don't know why. Uh, are trains running? No, not yet. We've got a, we've got a way to go yet. Have I got space for this? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, loads of space. All right, get rid of that. All right, good. And then uh, we need to go stick it on the other end. Just purely because the journey's nicer if you go on the other end. Um... Yeah, no, that's that's the only, that's literally the only reason. And then, then this will be facing the right way on the track that it's on, I think. But until I actually start running trains, I'll have no idea exactly where I've got everything wrong. And uh, and I'm anticipating I'll have got things wrong in quite a few places. Uh, no. That's still not what we were aiming for there. Try it again, but uh, do it better. There we go. Give me that, and then this, and then that, and then spin it, spin it, all right, and then back her up. There you are. Good. Right. Get in. Come on. No, no, put that away. Get in there. Right. You'll see where I haven't finished. I mean, if you look over to the sort of right-ish there, you'll see there's a whole bunch of pillars missing, and that's because I'm still working my way around it. Um, but fundamentally... It doesn't clip. It flipping better not clip. I've already spent loads of time on uh, on reworking this. There you go. Hey, I see. It's all right. It's all good. See, no clipping, and it mostly doesn't clip around the corners as well. I might need to change some of the corner stuff in order to make that better. But at the moment, it's perfectly adequate. Uh, so yeah, I've worked my way around everything that I'd built already, and I've even built a little bit more. Uh, just to replace the track bed. I didn't just change the pillars. No, no, no. Tore the whole thing up and stuck it back down again. Yeah, which is why you get floating lights <laughs> occasionally and other bits that you kind of go, well, that's not quite finished. Yeah. I'm putting in these last bits of kind of iron pillar, steel pillar thing. That's last step. That one. Is it or is it painting the stuff on the outside? I would say that last step was putting in the, the pillars to go with the electric cable. Uh, anyway, we're going to swerve off over here. And if you look down, uh, not done that corner. No. Most corners will be properly polished by the time I'm done with them, which will be lovely. Uh, right, let's stay straight on here for the moment because uh, I've got two bits that are quote-unquote built. Have I done this one? No, you haven't done that one either. It's because it's a pain in the bum to do. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. Um, uh, hey, there you go. 
Right, now, you've got this kind of convoluted Y going on here. Uh, stay straight. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll take this turn here. Go very slowly. This junction could do with a little bit more work. Uh, because it might not work in the end. Anyway, we're coming up to the crystal factory. Crystals and the refining thereof. Um, that, that will all be handled here. So coming out of here, you'll have uh, silica something or other and uh, and glass as well and obviously i've only made this single track i haven't put any supports in here at all yet so that's you know that's work that needs to be done um but it will be a little short train double headed i haven't even named it this is supposed to be crystal tip yeah it is but you changed the position of the, the station so there you go it's crystal tip planned in but nothing else done. And I'll put, you know, some buffers or something of interest going on there. Uh, but I'm going to occupy the inside initial section of this, this cavern. And it will look great. Or at least that's what it does in my head. I mean, what it actually ends up doing is anybody's guess. But uh, hold on. Always best to let people know. Oh, you can't do it. You can't do it with the camera on. Oh, I just needed to honk to let people know that I was backing up. Uh, and then I'll take you to what's going to be the major project, which you can probably make out already. Um, but you'll make it out a little better when we get there. Uh, hopefully this doesn't do anything weird with points. It, no, 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 you're all good. You're all good. The only reason I'm not happy with this junction, it looks fine, uh, but you can't come out the crystal tip and then go directly to where we're heading next. Because it just doesn't work that way. All right, brakes on. All right. And now uh, let's motor in this direction. Yeah. Looks good, though, doesn't it? I mean, you know, well, I mean, it, for what it is, it's coming on. Uh, yeah, right. Let's, uh, right, now you can, you can probably motor a little bit. Now, this didn't work quite as well as I thought it was going to. At least, I mean, the setup kind of principle for what we've built here. Uh, hasn't worked quite as well as I'd hoped it would. I might take another swing at it. The whole principle is get the foundations right and then everything else can slot into place. Um, I mean, so there's there's good news and bad news on this front. Uh, the good news, we get to go underneath this magnificent stone bridge on the way in with no clipping. Thank you very much. We've got the space ellie in the middle. That's nice too. And we've got a station down the far end. Now, the only thing that's going to be uh, done with the station down the far end is this is where pretty much every train will end up when it has shed its load at producing sections. It's storage only. Uh, so only, it's only ever going to need little trains. Which means that honking great biggins, oh yeah, that's something you hear every day, uh, aren't going to be necessary. Now, the only reason I'm dissatisfied with it, and it's not the rock clipping through there, because I'll end up blocking that. Um, no, no, the reason I'm disappointed is that the turns coming in and out are, are, are somewhat abrupt. So, I don't know yet whether I'm going to settle for this or whether I'll, uh, I'll go for something else. But there's plenty of run-up, so there's loads of queuing space. I might do a kind of a, uh, a changeover station, an interstitial station that has... See, look, look at this, look. Ah, oh, like it was meant to be. Um, yeah, I might do a station where you unload everything that is then packaged up onto a shorter train that runs out to here to store it. Because this is where I'll, I'll just, you know, get projects underway, and it'll probably be the big interchange for hypertubes as well. We can take this turning. This turning's all good. See, and because this is all double-tracked and pointed already, have I done this corner? No, you didn't bother. You You just kept it angular. Oh, no. Well, I will well, get over it. It works, doesn't it? What's your problem? I don't have a problem. Well, there you are, then. Um, yeah. Good. Right, so the current project double, double time is I want to get, I mean, you can see it just over there is where my, my starter factory is, is I want to start transitioning all of the kind of storage from there over next to my space alley. Uh, and, uh, and then I think, yeah, I think next time we'll be looking at, uh, at iron refining. 
yeah, build a big iron refiner. So I don't know why I say it, that's quite cool. And now I could build it there because there's three iron deposits in there. That's not bad. And then there's the multiple iron deposits down near the original build. I could put it in either of those places. Uh, but, I mean, regardless of which one I choose, we'll be using both sets of, uh, of iron deposit. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, you clip on that corner. Yep, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll fix it. Don't you sweat. Um, yeah. Right, I better go and get to work then, I suppose. It does feel a little reductive to say it, but uh, yeah, I mean, this, this has taken quite a long time. I mean, a very, very long time. Uh, this is the space elevator right now. Um, it's not complete, this building, but it's, it's, it's going all right. I'm, I'm fairly happy with the overall aesthetic that we've got on the outside. Uh, it's, there's still work to be done, uh, but this is, the, this is going to be the new global headquarters. So, uh, so there is a lot of work. I'm, I'm expecting a train. There is one train running, and, uh, and it's due any time now. Uh, so, I mean, that's why, that's why we're here now. But, I mean, look, it's all lovely. We're inside, uh, inside a cape. Well, this is an arch here that we've, uh, we've, we've, we've worked our way under the arch. Here comes the train. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't even be on this side of the track. Nope. But it is on this side of the track, so we'll step out of the way. Shouldn't it be on this side of the track? Or I've got the signals wrong or something. Anyway, here comes the train. Comes in at far too dangerous a speed. Uh, some signalling that actually allows you control over uh, over speed limits would be quite nice. Uh, here you've got the space elevator underneath. Uh, it's not hooked up at the moment, but it is all it's all kind of walled in. Uh, we've got the the shape of the beast has been has been taken care of, uh, but it's not uh, it's not fully hooked up. Uh, we've got belts there or conveyors lift thing majiggles. Uh, that will uh, take the output from incoming trains and hoik it upstairs. There's a bit of uh, lit waterfall for you there. Lit waterfall fans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all just it's all flowing through quite neatly. Kept behind glass, because obviously you don't want the water getting into the mix. There goes the train again. Yep. Bye-bye. Yep. See you later. Yeah, double header that one, train. Yeah, yeah why? It's, uh, it's a push-me-pull-you job. Uh, for reasons that I will demonstrate later on in this little tourette. Not tourette, no, a tourette, yes. Uh, so yeah, here's the, here's the unload, and it unloads. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you topside and you can see what's, uh, what's going on up there at the moment. But then we get really into the, uh, uh, the work in progress kind of element of things. Uh, but you'll, you'll get a feel for the reasoning behind that uh, momentarily. Here we go. Right, here we are topside. Uh, now, this belt here is overflow at the moment. That's the, this is the overall plan, is that we overflow out, and obviously we're, we're ticketing up there quite handsomely. Uh, tickets are going quite well. Oh, I've got a photo mode on. There you go. Uh, yep, tickets, please. I've still got a few more bits to buy, but I've done a, I've done a few. I could probably go shopping again, but, but that could wait. Uh, turn that on, turn that off. There we go. Uh, and then we have, uh, is a you know, you've got your little bridge going over the waterfall. You can look down there and look at the trains coming and going. Uh, don't know why I fenced this. Oh, the original plan was to just have, uh, you know, glass bridge over a waterfall. Yeah, you know, that's nice, isn't it? It is, sort of. Uh, and then you've got storage. Uh, these are all hooked up with smart splitters. So it grabs the stuff that it wants and slaps them in a doodah behind it. And that all works. I'm using very technical language. My apologies if, uh, if I'm leaving some of you behind there. Um, I need a couple more entry points here. But, uh, but other than that, it's all, it's all fine. None of this is finished. None of this is finalised. This is all very temporary right now. But it gives you a general sense of where we're going with it. Uh, now, if we head all the way down to the end... I can show you kind of the, the workings that are going on behind. Not that it's that sophisticated, just mostly because I figured that you'd want to see the workings that are going on behind. I can't even get up there. No. I might be able to. No, no, not even jumping on the lights will I get up there. Uh, should have gone a different way. Well, you've gone this way now, so make the best of it. Here we go. 
Right, there you go. So it all loops onto one primary belt that will zip you out this way. Yeah, I know. I know. We're going to throttle that. No time at all. It might be better to split the belts into two and maybe have them linking off and... and what's that for? Uh, I don't know. Nothing at the moment. But again, temporary, temporary. Uh, and here's the, uh, here's the belt merging system. I call it a system. It's just some somewhat contained spaghetti uh, going on. That just all right. Fine, your belt's too fast. That's bringing in sulphur, which we don't do anything with yet. It comes from absolutely pigging miles away. Uh, but I wanted sulphur somewhere where I could reach it for for getting used to it later on, right? Uh, for when I actually need it. We've got two sets of uh, of kind of hot catch and hold. Uh, depositories, uh, repositories, yeah, both of those things, uh, for incoming freight that's coming off the train, uh, so that we can make sure that we're always unloading cleanly, and then there's a little bit of belt balancing going on there to, you know, split things up and make sure that one, uh, one container doesn't fill up in isolation. Again, it, it, this'll, this'll come into its own later on. The eventual aim, and I don't know how I'm going to do this, I may end up tearing an awful lot down to make it work. Uh, the eventual aim will be both pick up and drop off. Or will it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, see, this is designed to be the last stop. So if you've got steel plate, for example, or screws, or, or well, anything else, concrete. Yeah. Do you want to name another item? Cable. There you go. If you've got any of those things, uh, then you can uh, you can drop it off where it needs to go first on the train, and then uh, when you're done, you come here just to drop everything else off that you're carrying. Uh, that way, we get maximum throughput. You're going to have to do something ugly to get out of here. Yeah, all right. Go on, let's go. Uh, and <laughs> there you go, ninja. Uh, and then here's the here's the top side of it. It all looks really good. Mostly, apart from the bits that don't, uh, but it, it kind of serves its purpose. Now, I had wanted to get two. That's a bit of train station. Yeah, then if we go down here, there'll be another bit. Look at that. See? Bits of train station. And now they're just decorative. That's nice. Yeah, isn't it? Anyway, we'll go out to, uh, we'll go follow the train uh, to where it's, uh, where it's heading. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is all top of the station building turnaround bit. I've moved the hub out here and all my workshops and that kind of stuff. This white colour scheme, it's very, very obvious. Anybody can paint stuff white and go, look how great it looks. Yeah. Primary colours. They're, they're the secret to success. Uh, primary Primaries and neutrals are your secret to paint scheme success. Uh, and therefore, the challenge is in uh, using a paint scheme that is not, you know, a solid colour and then black or white or grey. Yeah, if you could pull that off, you've done well. Oh no, no, this is going the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's fine. It's all, it's all fine. Because obviously we're running the trains on the wrong side of the track, which I'm, I'm lamenting more with every passing moment. Uh, let's ride on for the way back. This is going to be a stunt. Here we go. Hurry up. Are we in? Uh, no. All right, can we get in? Yeah, no. Why don't you wait till we stop? Okay. Fine, I'm kind of Buster Keatoning it on the front of the train at the moment, but that's that's all good. That's that's all good. Central command. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, if it was if I'd done this well, that sign would be uh, split equally on both sides. But I told you it's a work in progress. Right, you can jump off there now. We'll do a bit of an unload, and then I'll jump into the locomotive, and everything will be peachy. Yeah, and then you'll see some things. Oh, yes, you will. Because the building we're going to, what we're dropping off here are crystal products. So we've got uh, silicon something or other and uh, the other bit. Crystal, silicon, something or other. All that stuff. Yep, it's all it's all there for you to enjoy. It's because you've got that on. Oh, right, yeah, good. Yeah, now do this, do, now do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's why you didn't jump in before. Oh, yeah. Now... Another thing that I've kind of lamented ever so slightly is these crossbars at the top. I like them, but it doesn't half limit where you can stick the camera. So you put it here, it's rubbish. You put it about there, everything's golden. 
Yeah, so we're going just around the corner. I mean, very much around the corner. Uh, to get here to silicon processing. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and this is mostly complete. Okay, so uh, there you go. It's, uh, it's, this is the crystal tip. Uh, it will uh, it will now wait five minutes uh, to either fully load or just wait five minutes. Now the trains are going to be color coded according to where they're operating. So if I see one passing, I'll have a broad idea of where it's heading. Uh, this looks absolutely belting at night. Uh, the the front entrance we've got here because it's it's backlit, uh, and obviously you know we've we've staged it in such a way that you've got plenty of depth going on too and that's nice uh right now it gets a little bit more ugly when we go around to the uh down to the quantities uh, department we'll go down there now i'm showing you the ugly as well as the good uh it's it's all i mean it all works here's the ugly yeah so what happens is everything comes in via these two belts it then gets sorted round to back and low uh, into uh, appropriate containers. You're going to let me? No, you're not. Okay. You're going to let me? There you are. That's an empty. That's for inbound. Pretty sure that's the inbound container. No, it's because we're loading the train at the moment. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, there you go. This one is not currently being used for anything. This is for going and refining elsewhere or something I don't know yet. Many changes will happen in these kind of behind the scenes -y setup bits. So we've still architecturally done a little bit um but fundamentally it's it's not what you'd call high grade oh there you go the, the first bins import and the last three are all export bins uh ready to go elsewhere uh this is underneath the entire structure just in case i need to do some maintenance uh which is very very likely um but yeah we can come out here and look at it from the sides uh you know unnecessary detailing going on all over the place this is actually quite modest by my accounts i've not done the top yet because i haven't decided what i want to do with it uh these these pillars sticking out here oh that's intentional that's oh that's design that is should we go back inside it's nicer inside okay i, I mean but you've showed them outside yeah no, yeah I've, I've done that yeah that's a that's a thing that happened uh right so going around the outside nothing much to see uh, you've just got so much wasted space, or I've got so much wasted space, around the outside of the train station. So this is the, the freight station behind this glass, uh, and it, there's nothing much going on. And this is just a big open bit. I, I don't know. Haven't really thought it completely through as yet. No, and then you've got the red corridor, which leads you to both uh, platforms, which is quite functional and lovely and red uh, and then if we work our way up top side here there's the there's the incoming uh, quartz uh, bits and pieces which is equally lovely here's some oh look at this oh, oh would you i mean admire it for what it isn't uh but here is the uh, the processing of said quartz and it's not bad so uh, again we're continuing the kind of standoff motif uh, yeah. Oh, pipes. What are they for? Ooh, wouldn't you like to know? Um, yeah, yeah, we've got this kind of standoffish, uh, sort of postmodernist uh, zigzag. Doesn't serve any purpose, but ooh, oh, yeah, zesty. Um, now, the important thing about this is that the top, the, the, this entire manufactorum that we've got going on here is designed to be modular. So I can continue that upwards as much as I ruddy well please. Uh, so as the needs increase for, for more items later on, this will extend to allow me to do that. You've put this staircase in a really stupid place. Have I though? Yeah, you have. No, no, I haven't. I don't need access on this first level. You get access from the second level. So from the second level, on each one of these, we've got four grinding away. It is four, right? Uh, it used to be. Yep, it still is, right? We've got four of these grinding away, and then you can get down into the sorting below, uh, which is mostly navigable because it's set up to be easy. Uh, central bus kind of cent idea coming through. So there's the output line coming down there, 
and that will feed out to those storage containers we looked at a moment ago. Here's the input line uh, coming in, and that's feeding up to subsequent floors. So if we go up there, it actually works really well. Yeah, you can't find the door, can you? Um, no. Yeah, where did you leave it? You, there isn't a door. There, what? There used to be a door. <laughs> a, I keep, I'm throwing myself because there, there was once upon a time a door. Um, now the the motif for this entire setup is a, a red and purple kind of an idea. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Um, yeah. It, even with look, you got facing zigzaggy windows. Because, yeah, that's nice. So here's the floor to floor belts. Export going down. Uh, import going up. And as you can see, we're not using up much of the import at the moment. We can go quite a lot more than we're doing at the moment. Um, but I've, we don't have a need for it. As I mean, as you saw back at uh, Central Command, we were dumping quite a lot of stuff into tickets. Now I can do more, but at the moment I don't have the need to do so. Have I painted those? I'm not sure I have. Hang on, let's uh, let's bring out the paint scheme. There you go. Hey, you up. Put this in there. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Why aren't you painted? You should be. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Right. You can put that away. Uh, and then, as before, you go down into the sorting line, and obviously, it goes back and forth on itself on each subsequent floor. Uh, but that's it's easy enough to manage. The belts never cross themselves, and the reason for dropping down into these logistic floors is purely so you can get to everything. Uh, and as as demonstrated ably not moments ago, it is kind of tricky to to jump over belts and stuff. So uh, so everything's like a ladder drop in or a set of stairs or something like that. Not necessarily that consistent, but it does do the job. Uh, and then we'll go up again. There's one more floor to go. And uh, and this is not the way. This is the way. All right, there we go. Uh, and here's the extension floor ready to go. Yeah, there you are. Right. So I can go up with this as, as far as I like. The, uh, the patterning on the outside can be continued at infinitum, uh, which will look great. So I think that's ingest and that's uh, export. Yeah, so we'd stick four more in here and then everything would be peachy. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. That's the, the, the long and the short is I'm quite pleased with how this has come out. It really does look good at night, uh, all lit up. And there's Central Command over there. Now, to give you some reference as to where we are on the map overall, I've, yeah, I've put in quite a lot of track, but a lot of it doesn't work. So there's the original kind of hub storage bit. That's where the space elevator used to be. Uh, if you follow this track down that way, uh, you can just, if you squint, make out the uh, the coal power going on there. No changes down there. Have they made changes down there? Oh, I demolished a whole big chunk of it. Oh, yeah, you did. Not the coal plant. It was another building that I demolished a whole chunk of because I wanted to make it look better than it does at the moment. Are we going to go down and look at that? Yeah. I was going to do that before this episode. Yeah, I know. You didn't know, did you? No. No. I, and I think, if anything, that's something to get used to, is that for every step forward, there will be, oh, a, a dozen or so step backward uh, where I revise things. But that brings us on to a conclusion for today. While we, while we head over in the direction of what I built last time and have subsequently torn apart... Um, the conclusion for today is that where we're, where are we going next? Well, I'm glad you asked. I want to do some processing next. So we'll take uh, materials that are refined in one place and uh, and process them something somewhere else. And uh, the goal there... Oh, yeah. Let's do a bit of white, white water parasending. Yeah, the, the goal is going to be to get the, uh, the steel that is currently being made down here where we're heading now... And, uh, and we'll turn that into uh, ingrots and beams. Not, no, it already is ingrots. We'll turn it into beams and pipes. Yeah, that's what the kids are into these days. If you haven't got a pipe, make sure you've got a beam. They're only happy if you've got one or the other. Ideally, both you can leave me alone. Uh, right. Yeah. Keep charging. Keep charging. Come on, this, this is almost seamless. 
Yeah, there we go. It's the steel, uh, the, the foundry. I decided to rebuild it because after making the crystal place, I went, you know what? This kind of modular setup that you've got going on here is so much better than the kind of brute force it in that I ended up doing on this one. You haven't even coloured these flipping beams in here. I know, I know, I know. There's there's loads to do. But I will be going back and indeed forth as we uh, as we progress. Uh, can you get up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use a you can use a cheeky parachute hack. Can you? Yeah, yeah. See, look, right. Was that a parachute hack? Let's say it was for the sake of argument. Uh, so we're in here. Everything is now back to being temporary. Hooray! Yeah. And uh, and I need to I need to think it through on a logistical basis far better than I was doing. Now it still functions. I think it still functions. No, I don't think it does. So the end is still going to be exactly the same setup as was before. Uh, we need to go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have come down here. Yeah, but I, I wanted to show people a nice bit. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's a nice bit. It's, it's not it's not working anymore though. I don't think. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Here's the new idea that I had. Yeah. Are these working? Yeah, they are working. Yeah, here's the new idea. Much neater. Uh, torch. Right? So, in the same vein as in the crystal place, uh, we now logistics on a separate floor. But even then, I'm very unhappy with how those logistics are working. Uh, and all of the individual foundries are now encased. Not fully in case, but just enough to be safe. You know, so little fingers don't get trapped in the gubbins and cause themselves harm. Have I got a bunch of stuff in here? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that doesn't exactly surprise me. Um, but, you know, consistency of lighting, consistency of design, and, uh, and consistency of distribution is the aim. Because I want... All of this makes sense, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it makes total sense. Uh, also, if you were to look at it from above, it is mostly, in fact, I think it is entirely symmetrical. You can kind of make it out here. Yeah, 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 these, these two um, uh, belts don't exactly overlap in the neatest way possible. I haven't settled on this as final, because uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not glam enough. Uh, and I think if your aspiration is to build something glam, then that's what you should build and don't compromise on it until you've got something where you go, yes, now I have achieved a glamorous appearance. This I'm happy with. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I mean, these, brilliant. I mean, it's not an efficient use of space by any count. Um, and I think part of the reason that I'm having difficulty with it right now is because... Uh, that logistics floor we just came th past is feeding both up and down at the same time. So it's feeding these four and the ones two floors below. And that's probably why there are so many belts. I want fewer belts, or at least fewer visible belts. I'm quite happy using uh, lifts and, and the rest of it to get the magic happening, but right now it's not done. So yeah, so I've I kind of tore this down. This is not going to be a finalised design. No. I get, I, if you recall, last time around, there was uh, effectively grid work around the outside of it, but it was inconsistent. So I'm going to try and rebuild that and make it consistent. Um, and that's, that's... See, I mean, if you look at this, that's got a consistent design all the way around. So you kind of go, yeah, that's... It's smart but boring. And you go, yes, exactly. Smart but boring we want to avoid. Uh, this is not quite as smart, but it's far less boring because there's more going on, there, right? And, and you don't want pure symmetry. You want a combination of, uh, of symmetry and, and the asymmetric going on in order to make these things, you know, look their best, be their brightest, shine the most, all of that kind of behavior. Um, yeah. Oh, the, all of... All these uh, interchanges here, they all work fine. They, this is all set up beautifully. Um, it just doesn't... Yeah, I had a moment where I thought, oh, I could I could start shipping ingrots down to the big storage doodah. And then I went, no, no, make that your next project where you uh, 
where you send your ingrots to go and be turned into useful things. I thought there was a train still here. Well, I've got a, I've got a message for you. You know, uh, what's that? It's not still here. No, I've left it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have. Uh, all of this really needs sorting out as well. This flipping logistics floor is far too small. It works, but it's too small. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. So that's that's progress of a sort. I'm going to wait for it to be night time so you can get a good view at uh, at the big purple building at night because it's it's kind of worth it. Now it never gets proper dark. I mean, very rarely does it get proper dark. When you're inside, it gets proper dark. So we're, we're going to do with this blue sky business because the moon's well into it. Assuming that's a moon. Now that's another star. Oh, okay. Well, we're watching a train come in anyway. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll get to appreciate some lovely, lovely lighting. Hammering the brakes on as he goes past. Flipping dangerous driving by the A. Look at... Look. Oh, the glow. And then as you go inside, you get the purple glow, which is just nice. It is just nice. Right, we'll head topside, and then you can see the uh, the action, as it were, at the uh, at the crystal factory. Yeah, you see, I put this fence here, but I just jump over it the entire time, which rather means the fence shouldn't be there. Uh, you need a bit of distance between you and the front facade of the crystal factory. I think I might jump off the front. Yeah, we'll look at it up close, and you kind of go, um, I'm not sure what you're, what you're driving out there, Chief. And I go, all right, hang on, we'll, we'll, we'll jump off the front of the platform here, uh, and then, then you'll, get a, you'll get a notion, you'll get a feel for it. There you go. See, it's really rather, it's really rather nice, but it's just not dark enough. <laughs> I mean, you can spend your entire time complaining how dark it is, and then you go, eh, it's, it's just not dark enough. Anyway, there you go, that's going to wrap it up for this month. Uh, next time around, expect to see two trains running and probably delaying each other all the time because I've not thought the junctioning through particularly well. Uh, so maybe you could call that a bit of a... I see, see, this is quite nice. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not what I hoped. No, but is anything ever what you hoped? No, 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 no. Anyway, uh, enjoy yourselves, why don't you? And I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoy this, it's back once a month. Because I use the game as a bit of filler time when I've got nothing much else going on. And, uh, and I just, you know, I'm trying to build something a little bit glam. It's never going to be the most glam thing you've seen. But a little bit glam. Yeah. Oh, I see, that's quite a nice view. There's a hell of a lot of train track over there. I'm sure you can make it more efficient. No, no, that's a Y junction. Look, 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 look. See, it works. It's fine. It's all good. I've tried it out on everything. It's fine. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.